it's, it, it's the answer. I mean, thinking of it for the but user. If you've got someone comes along here and you're doing your event and someone suddenly knocks a bottle of coke over their laptop, it's all up on the it's all up on your Dropbox account. All you've got to do is just plug a different laptop in, and away you go, carrying continuing your event. And obviously, if you're working there of our online systems, duty man, producer, selling club manager, whatever, then then all that's happening in the background for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the backup yeah, that. Somebody turns up, collects the day's racing. Hmm. I should have to have them to have to log on before they do anything. Well you, well, you have to have a log on of some sort, otherwise yeah, anyone yeah. can nick your data, which you don't yeah. want. So, but, but as John said, you can have the machine logged on, so when that machine's running, yeah. it's, uh, it logs on automatically yeah. to that account. Yeah. I think that's one of the challenges I see of trying to integrate too much, is because a lot of the volunteers are very like, part-time volunteers. Yeah. The more technical or yeah, processes course, yeah. you have to understand, yeah. the less likely you are to get volunteers to want to do things. So just a single point of entry, whether it's actually you're doing sail wave or you're doing Medusa or mm. whatever, could be a big advantage. But the more different things you have to do and tie in, yeah. the less likely one of the things we definitely people are going to want to do is it. Shared logins log log yeah. around us. Yeah. Yes. So we, we were already, yeah. I mean, like you see now, you can have one login for a lot of programs. You know, yeah. Facebook the, the get like that. started page, yeah. and then. Yeah. 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 I mean, right. it doesn't have to be Dropbox. I mean, it could be things like Google Drive or any of those sort of things. But I mean, yeah. you know, Dropbox, the fact that it actually stores every iteration of it, and the fact that you can actually go back if you suddenly decide you've actually deleted the wrong group of, um, which I, you know, got done myself. Even been at sale for sale for gold. I sort of pressed delete. I saved it. <laughs> That was the wrong thing to delete. Oh, the other ones. Oh, Dropbox, <laughs> saved. Dropbox saves me. And I mean, Dropbox has saved me when someone actually spilled some nice whole bottle of cocoa over the top of my laptop as well. Didn't save the laptop. Didn't save the laptop, no, but I could still, you, baby. <laughs> I could still continue the following day because all the data was actually up on the Dropbox um, and I could still continue using um, a different laptop okay. the following day. Right, I'm mindful of the time, so I'm going to draw that session to the, at the close on the day selection. Excellent session, we've got a lot of good things. This will just have a couple of minutes for comfort break, I, I know I need one. And then we've got uh, one further session which is a little bit more esoteric, it's about member experience and some things we're doing that might improve that, which is between myself and Jeremy. So we've got a few minutes, great. Thanks very much. <laughs>